Uh, my name is Nikhil Angelo, and I am a science teacher here at Lopez High School, and this is my second year teaching. I've been using this lab for one semester, and the way that I structure my lab is um, through inquiry-based learning. And so they, the kids will come out inside, and they'll start off, you know, exploring the lab, discovering the product uh, or the concept, and then they uh, use the clickers to kind of check for understanding and do an assessment on the way out. I really like the equipment. I think that the equipment, just you know, having those in a kit, prepackaged, I, can, I have a set of six boxes. I can put them into collaborative groups. Having that and having it so easy and in easy inventory makes it really user friendly. Um, and I enjoy the fact that there's a PowerPoint usually with an activity embedded within the PowerPoint, so that we can kind of go through it, and then they have a way to see a procedure and actually perform a lab and then using the SRS as feedback to see how they're doing with the lab, working together to get those results. I think it's been great. I mean, most of our students here at our school fall into at least one of those categories. Um, and I think, I, I mentioned it before, but with these special populations um, within a school, they don't necessarily learn from a standard lecture environment. Um, these students, what they do is they learn. <clears throat> they learn from seeing, and they learn from talking together um, collaboratively. They learn from each other, and so when they are seeing the science, you know, they're talking about it. They see something happen. You know, with good questioning, you can get them to make connections. And when you have those collaborative groups, you know, you might have a higher level student who maybe seeing those higher level blooms ideas happening. But those lower level students who are generally, you know, more visual, more kinesthetic learners, I mean, it's hitting them at all learning modalities. It's been really awesome. Yes, we've seen improvements in those benchmarks. We've only focused, we because we've only been doing this for one semester, mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> we've only been able to focus on maybe about six or seven different uh, content areas according to the tax. Mm -hmm. So in those, we don't have the data yet from the tax scores, but in those specific concepts, for example, density or circuits, we've seen an increase in their performance. Um, my students have gained, what, like I said that before, they've gained a belief that they can actually do science. Um, they've gained a desire to do science. And when I think you have that belief and that desire to do science uh, well, you actually will do science. And you're actually seeing student achievement increase um, generally in the labs. We're seeing an average, you know, if we were giving them an exit quiz, we're seeing an average of high 80%, high 90 or low 90% achievement on these exit quizzes, which, you know, traditionally we consider that student mastery. And so we're seeing classes, whether they're ESL classes all the way to, you know, GT classes, really performing at a very high level because through that f explorative um, inquiry-based science, they're really developing. I would definitely recommend the program. Um, However, I would say that you still have to prepare. Um, this is not a replacement for from planning. Because um, even though there's such comprehensive material out there, it's, I, 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 don't, I truly don't think, especially if you, your school has a lot of these special populations, you can't expect a student to sit down, click through all the very, very text-heavy PowerPoints, and extract the important information to be able to do well. I think what's really important is that you plan the labs as if you're planning a normal lab, and then using this as a supplement or as a guiding structure, but not necessarily the be-all, end-all for your science instruction. So you still have to prepare. You still have to know your content really well. You need to be able to guide them through that learning you know, with a very teaching-intensive lab. It's, it's a teaching tool. It's not a, it's not a teacher.